So something that um, a lot of women deal with during pregnancy um, is SI joint pain. So I'm actually going to show you from this angle. Um, it's right back here, both these crevices right here, those are your SI joints. Um, and a lot of times in pregnancy, women experience a lot of pain there because well, there can be a few different reasons. One being um, we get a surge of the hormone relaxin, um, and that is what's going to cause those ligaments to be a little bit more mobile. Um, and just as the name implies, it creates a little bit more um, laxity in the ligaments and the muscles that are holding everything stable. Um, therefore, those SI joints get um, unstable. Um, and so we start to compensate and usually we have one side that's weaker than the other, but that's when we're going to start feeling that pain. Um, so one thing we can do is address that instability. And for a lot of women, that means, um, creating a strong core before pregnancy and then also during pregnancy because your core is incredibly compromised. Um, while you're pregnant, of course we were, we were made to do this, but it does get weakened. Um, and that just creates more pain. So, um, I'm actually going to just create a blog and of different exercises you can do, um, to help with SI joint pain. Um, and then some other things that you can do, and I know, I know I'm doing it right now, but I don't have any, um, SI joint pain myself right now, but, um, so when you're pregnant, sit down to take your to take your shoes off. I don't know if you've ever dealt with it, but when you're standing and you're pregnant and you try to just kind of push your shoes off with one foot, it creates so much pain because maybe you're relying on that side of your hip to completely stabilize yourself. So that's one thing you can avoid. Um, try not to push objects just with your foot. That's going to, again, create more pain and create more instability. Um, and then try to avoid crossing your legs when you're pregnant. Um, so tell me, what are some things that you have done, um, if you have dealt with SI joint pain, which by the way, I should add is so common for a lot of women. Um, a lot of pregnant women deal with it. Most women, it should resolve by around six months, maybe up to a year, but that's a pretty rare case. Um, but it can, it can, um, persist after pregnancy after delivery um but and then also number one i should have said is always go see your pelvic floor um, physical therapist or a chiropractor that can help you um with this alignment with this alignment issues but um, a lot of times it just takes um being giving birth to actually relieve some of that pressure um, that sits on your pelvis so